everybody, uh, Emily here. Thanks so much for being here. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different. We are mostly in our houses these days here in Queens. And um, so an idea I had for a, a little bit of quarantine content, which in retrospect I may regret, uh, was to taste all the liquors in our house and rank them. And for this project, I have a special guest. Please give a warm welcome. Uh, to my wonderful husband, Dan. Come on in, Dan. I am very concerned. <laughs> we each have a paper and a pen, and we're going to write down our scores on look, aroma, taste, and overall personal impression. Uh, and then uh, in the end, hopefully what we will be able to do is to line all these up in order of our personal best to worst. This is the ultimate Long Island iced tea, basically. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> we figure about a third of a shot. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna taste, do just little third tastes of, of each, because even if we had a third of a shot of each of these, we will have had six shots of liquor. Let's ride. <laughs> All right, so we're starting off with the good stuff. We're starting off with um, some scotch that we bought. This is Glen Marangi, the original. Uh, I believe it was the cheapest Glen Marangi that was <laughs> available at the store. Uh, produced in Scotland since 1843, perfected by the like 16 Rothschild. men of Tame. We have a bottle of alcohol for each of those 16 men. <laughs> it's true, and then two more bottles of alcohol. Cheers. Mm. That's really good. All right, write down your scores. What are we scoring at him? Oh, great question. Do you want to do five or ten? Five. Cool. Decimals allowed? Uh-huh. No, I drank mine all at once. <laughs> For some reason, I like the taste much better than I like the smell of Glen Marangi. I guess I'll finish this and we'll move on. I forgot that I'm a really slow drinker. I just, I love to savor. You know, I'm a savorer. So our bag is another scotch. We're doing our scotches first, uh, and then we'll move into whiskey and then bourbon, and then onward to the other liquors. How many, how many men just still at this one? <laughs> Doesn't say. Immense smoky intensity. Yeah. Yeah, it's very peaty, it's very smoky. Um, it's like a strong flavor, but it's a great winter flavor. It burns, it burns. It burns my it whole burns face. so good. Why sit by the fireplace when you can have the fireplace inside of you? All right, next. <laughs> we need a bell. <laughs> yeah. This one I'm not looking forward to, to be honest. Uh, so this is Glen McGregor, it's blended scotch whiskey. It does say product of Scotland, and it's signed by <laughs> Alexander McGregor. All right, Alexander. I really like the logo. I wonder if that's the face that I'm gonna make when I pick it. <laughs> Ugh. It actually tastes way better than it smelled. Um, you know, it's got kind of a sulf sulfuric, sulfuric smell, I think it's my issue with it. It's like it mostly smells like whiskey, but it a little bit smells like an egg. I could drink this. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Mm. <laughs> no, it's off. She, she did it. Ah. I actually was pleasantly surprised by the taste. Um, who among us hasn't had a bad aroma every once in a while? That's but... true. Yeah. I think I had a bad aroma this morning. I've worn the same t-shirt for a long time. Red one. It is corn. It is. Uh, no, it's, it's icons of whiskey. <laughs> you thought it said corn some whiskey on um like an award? 2015 corn, corn some whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, that's really good. Hmm. It's it's sweeter like a bourbon. <laughs> it's got an almost like vanilla y yeah. flavor. It's not like flavored vanilla like vanilla. It's not vanilla flavored, but it is uh like it's got a vanilla-ness to it. I think this would be like a really great ingredient in uh um, uh, like mint juleps and, and like other yeah, I can uh, definitely late, see late that. spring, early summer. Yeah, so. yeah. I gotta say, honey twist pretzels, perfect snack. Mm -hmm. it's sweet. It's salty. Have you been secretly sponsored by pretzels while I've been not out? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the best one we've had since the Glamorangi for me. Wow. Okay. I would say for me, this is third of the four we've had so far. It's hard to argue when 16 people are distilling your, your bottle of alcohol. Right. They've got 16 eyes on that. No, they got 32 eyes. That's right. <laughs> so this is the Nika Kofi Malt Whiskey. It's a very good whiskey. It is probably the most expensive alcohol we own. 
Um, yes, although we got it at a, a discount state liquor store. So. Yeah, we went to Vermont. Well, nope, we were New Hampshire. Oh yeah. Tip of the cap to New Hampshire liquor stores. Yeah, tip of the cap to New Hampshire. Just. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It's got a very like caramelly flavor. I was gonna say. Not like super sweet, but just like caramelly in its essence. It's got a smoothness to us. It's got a smoothness to it. <laughs> yeah. I give it up overall a 4.5. Um, not because I don't think it's the best that we've had so far, but because I'm hopeful. And they're, they're cautiously optimistic ca that there's a five out there. There's gotta be. Just rustling around in my fern. This is Four Roses Single Barrel. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And it's the kind of alcohol that has like handwritten notes on it. This is one that we've had for a long time, but not from avoidance, but from savoring. Something I learned in this process is we have a lot of peels of bottles that are like, really one to two drinks away from being dead, and we've just not killed them for one reason or another. Cheers to you. To your continued good health. Is that my stomach or your stomach? Is my stomach? <laughs> uh, I give it a four and a half for taste, because I really liked that taste. Well, it was four barrels. Yes. How many people have destroyed that one? Four roses. Four roses. Single barrel. Yeah. Four, Four roses, roses, one, one barrel, barrel, and a partridge and a pear tree. This is Fighting Cock Bourbon. It's also from Kentucky. This one's 51.5% alcohol by volume. Yeah. It's actually really kind of bad that we've allowed these bottles to sit around at like almost gone. This one has no information on it whatsoever except for what I just said. Oh, it's from Bardstown, Kentucky. To you. <laughs> Mm. 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 Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Does it kind of smell like pickles to you just a little bit? Like mostly it smells <laughs> no. like bourbon, but a little bit but like pickles? No, not at all. Give no. it a huff. Oh, actually, now that you mention it, I am getting a little bit of <laughs> like a, like and a I brine. love pickles. <laughs> it's just got a certain vernisse quoi. <laughs> Woodford Reserve is a very good, um, like sort of large batch bar bourbon. Large batch bourbon? Large batch bourbon. Large batch bourbon. This is also the only, the second alcohol that we've had so far where someone dared to sign the bottle. Yeah. Who signed this one? Chris Morris. Brave of Chris because if it's terrible, we're coming for him. Uh, the perfectly balanced taste of our Kentucky Street bourbon whiskey is comprised of more than 200 detectable flavor notes from bold grain and wood to sweet aromatics, spice and fruit and floral notes. <laughs> I might get like, Two ingredients. Do you want to try and um, name how many flavors we can get out of it? All right, it? deal. We can still smell. It's a good sign that we don't have the coronavirus. Yeah, that's true. Hey, that's true. Cheers to that. Caramel. I'm trying to guess which Flower. spices and flowers. But... Yeah, definitely flowers. Is alcohol a flavor? <laughs> I've got rose, maybe. Definitely getting, I don't know if this is like cheating, but it's like, this feels sweeter than the, than many of the other ones that we've had so far. So definitely yeah. getting like a sugar, which I guess you could say is caramel. Do you have a little bit of lemon peel? A little clove? And what kind of wood do you, do you want to say? I feel like I can't, I can't distinguish between woods. I, it doesn't taste oaky to me. Cherry? Cherry wood? Cherry wood. Cherry wood. Oh boy. You were going to get like, trashed by everybody who knows anything about bourbon. <laughs> yeah, they said 200 flavor notes. We've got to be in there somewhere. It's like dirt. <laughs> dirt in there. A little dirt. Also, we're making it pretty clear that we're not coming in as experts on this. I also, I feel like, uh, what was I going to say? I think it tastes really good. I just didn't, it, d it didn't beat out some of the other ones for me, mm -hmm. but it's a great. It's a great whiskey. Yeah, um, you're safe, Chris. You're safe, time. Chris. This time, it's like a bay, Can't tell the like bay, like like uh, where where ships and and stuff dock, and then a seagull, gull, bagel. You say sometimes bag bagel, like a like a like a bag of potatoes. It's not the same to me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. uh, all right. So up next we have black dirt applejack, bottled in bond, handcrafted. This is a hundred percent New York apple brandy. I found it to be 
uh, strong. <laughs> It tastes like an apple plus whiskey. I don't think that. It's like a. It's like very alcoholic apple. It's like tart. Well, but it's got like a bourbony flavor a little bit. It's which is probably the oak barrel, honestly. Kind of I... tastes like a like a balloon. I accidentally drank all my water. What did you say it tastes like? <laughs> no, to me it just tastes like a tart apple, but like very, very alcoholic. Sometimes you just want to be punched in the face by an ample alcohol. <laughs> um, this is Zerkova vodka, which is, I think, Ukrainian? Mm. Made to be served neat, which is how we're gonna have it. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the vodka of uh, social distancing, because it's the vodka that's meant to be alone. Oh, well. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I thought that was going to be way worse than it was. No, me too. It has like a little bit of like a floral. It may be because I've had this in so many martinis, but I think it's got a nice smell. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, that's that's not a bad smell. It's like, that's a good that's a good smell. Sure. I feel better equipped to handle the cold of the outdoors. Right. Which is, is it cold out today? It could be. We, we haven't been outside. Now. More vodka, more vodka. We are continuing on <laughs> our journey. Back on the Japanese uh, alcohol spirits yeah. drink. Oh, we got this. I know why I got this. I got it so that we could make quarantinis. Quarantinis. Oh, boy. <laughs> Cheers. To your family. It's very smooth up front, but then it does have a little bit of a burn at the back. And more of a floral, ne like neutral to floral scent. Yeah, There's I would say that... Straddle the line. This and Zerkova kind of swap positions in that the smell on this is more pleasant, but the taste is like the same or maybe even a little less pleasant. I disagree. I'm looking at my scores and <laughs> maybe I just like alcohol. They're all, all, <laughs> They're pretty, all pretty good. good. I think this would be an excellent um, just straight sipping vodka, um, but also like, I don't think the flavors are overpowering to the point where it wouldn't be a good mixer either. It can't possibly be good for us to be mixing this much alcohol. You know, I've always felt that... Um, Is that a myth? That's a myth. And then it's just about like not drinking too much alcohol, which we are also doing. Uh, so this is Arete Tequila. Is this another one that somebody tequila. signed? Uh, no, the owner no. of Arete wasn't bold enough to sign. No. Isn't Arete... In, in French, it means stop. Yeah. What is, it? <laughs> what, is, what is it in Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I will put up here the actual definition of Arete when I look it up in the morning. Mm. Oh, I sipped mine. You shot yours. This is the opposite of how we started. <laughs> wow. This is a really good tequila. This is really smooth. Really I should smooth. not have shot that. No. It was great. It's a really good tequila. Huh. I mean, it's it, smoky. Is it smoky? Yeah. Really I'm very, like I'm salty. very pleased. What's this called? Arete tequila? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we just talked about it. <laughs> this is the first thing that I think I've smelled and been like, yeah, and then I've tasted it and been like, yeah! <laughs> For me, this is up there with like Glen Marie and Jan Nika in terms of like deliciousness. I, I would definitely get this bottle again. Yeah, me too. All right. Next! This is an alcohol that's aptly named where I felt betrayed when I opened it. Now, I was looking for a regular spiced rum, but what I recall of it is that it has a very distinct vanilla flavor. Um, and I'm really not into flavored alcohols, but maybe today its fortune will be turned around and we'll realize that it was good all along. Boy, oh boy, the cocktail we're making in our bodies right now. Cheers. To your hairdresser, where everything It is, it is vanilla -y. Yeah, it smells I feel like, like vanilla. Maybe we should use this instead of the extract in our next pancake. Ugh. Oh, I should have shot that one. All right, we're going in. <sighs> I do not like that. If it said vanilla flavored rum, then it would find its audience. Um, but instead, it's just lived in my house. There might be a lot of people out there who like vanilla rum. 
Yeah. You are good people. Yeah. Salt of the air. So up next, we have a smooth Caribbean rum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> technically, that is the tagline. Uh, this is Screech, uh, Newfoundland Screech. Now this is, this is in fairness, airport gift shop Screech. It's a, it's a rite of passage in Newfoundland, right? In New, yeah. Newfoundland. Yeah, yeah. So, in theory, you get screeched in, you, like, kiss the cod. Uh, there's a whole thing. Oh, boy. Shoot it. Don't ask questions. Oh, it gets worse over time. I was going to say the opposite. I was going to say, good up front, tough for me after. I don't mind it. It's got sort of a brown sugar thing once you get past the very strong alcoholness of it. This, for me, I would drink this in a, in a Coke. I gotta be honest, it tastes like pure gasoline. <laughs> so this is, uh, this Aquavit is matured at sea in oak sherry casks. They put it in a boat and it drives back and forth across the equator before they sell it. Does the boat drive? <laughs> uh, I don't know, what does it do? Sail? Sail? Yeah. Elon Gore! It tastes like licorice. Oh, somehow water made my mouth taste worse. Yeah, it does, it tastes awful. Oh. You know, it's, I understand the appeal of it, but it's not. That tastes like pickles, or right. like end of pickle. It's like dill all the way. Mm. Is dill like an ingredient in aqua bit? I don't remember. There's definitely like a, a, a fern that goes in there. There's like a, a leafy thing that goes inside. And like maybe juniper berries, except that's mm. gin. Oh boy, I don't feel good after that one. It's no more than two. <laughs> any, any on any front. <laughs> anything that you'd like to say about the informing? Part? My mouth feels bad. All right, uh, I gave it a one point five for the taste because it really kicks your butt in the back end. Mm. And then overall, I'd give it a five. A lot of good memories with this one. <laughs> a lot of great. What? Um, up next we have a little bit of creme de cassis, which is a black currant liqueur from France. I think it is traditionally a digestif, so in theory it's good for the end of a meal. And this is in many ways a meal of alcohol. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. oh yeah, that's thick. <laughs> oh. It has a very strong aroma. It smells like grape juice, but like alcoholic. You're right, it's a little syrupy on its own. I don't hate it though. No. It's like a desserty kind of liqueur. It's it's sweet, but I actually like it. My mouth feels weirder having drank it. It's true. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> this is not something that was typically drunk on its own, to my knowledge, like ever. What is this? It's sweet vermouth. Yeah. Um, typically, it would go in like a Manhattan, it's basically fortified wine of some sort. Hmm. I'm excited about it because I think it's the first alcohol that we've had today that is also a really good nickname for somebody. <laughs> What's up, sweet vermouth? Hey! Yeah. Boy, I do not want to drink this. Oh. <laughs> it gets worse later. Oh. What? Yeah, it's bitter. Does that mean it's gone bad? No, no, that's just what it's supposed to do. Kind of tastes like Marcella wine, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're spot on. It, it is, it is like Marsala wine, but like more, more so. I mean, what context are we really rating any of these things? I don't know. It's all arbitrary. This yeah. is like whose line is it anyway? Especially now. The points are all made up, and nothing matters. All right. So next we've got. Um, Dry vermouth. Sweet, sweet, sweet vermouth's more sarcastic cup cousin. Wait, let me try that again. Oh boy. You know, I've learned something today. Don't ever do that again, me. You know, I didn't hate it. I did not like it nearly as much. It is very dry. It's very bitter. Ooh. Yeah. We wouldn't tell you to drink vermouth on its own because guys... Don't. You for sure shouldn't. Just don't do it. You for sure shouldn't. 
All right, so this is our 18th and final drink of the day. Now, is it really 18? Yeah. All right, so this is bitters. And as much as I would love to do the same thing as we did with everything else, this really isn't, like, it's not even going to come out in quantities enough for us to drink it on its own. So instead, we're going to put it in seltzer and drink it. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Oh, no. No, they are not good by themselves. No, oh, no, you should, no, no, neither of us should have done that. It tastes like a lot of spices, cloves and others. Yeah. But, like, distinct citrus uh, flavor as well. Yeah, this is definitely, they're definitely bitter. I'll give you that. Bitter is for surely living up to their name. Oh, yeah. It's like a Christmassy seltzer. Taste by itself, you don't want to, you never want to do. Uh, I give it a one. I would not drink this on its own, but the second it goes in seltzer, mwah. And that's that. Should we do a review and see which ones we liked the best? Yeah, let's, we'll go through them, and I guess we should rank them all, because that's what we said we were doing. This is all personal preference, but hopefully, I don't know, if you're interested in picking up some alcohols, this will tell you what we like, and then you can tell us whether or not you agree. <laughs> So I'm going to put our bag in sixth, okay. even though you didn't really like it. So I guess ultimately I take responsibility for the ranking and Dan is um, just a guiding light in the sky of where maybe things could go. <laughs> I had this ranked higher. Which did you rank higher? I ranked the shipwreck higher. All right, shipwreck. And then Glenn Wait, no, that's not right. I hate vanilla flavored things. <laughs> and there it is. Is that everything? Yeah, we ranked all the alcohols in our house. Well, um, all the liquors. I'm gonna take a nap. Cool. <laughs> oh boy, I don't feel, I don't feel bad, but I don't feel great. Next time, cooking. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I'm Emily, this is Dan. Don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't say Jack <laughs> you didn't. Um, subscribe if you wanna subscribe, hit the notification button if you're like, I gotta know when this happens again. Um, it'll probably be every Monday, I think is the hope right now, but I don't wanna make any big promises because I don't really know what I'm doing yet and I'm gonna do this. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. We did at points. I hope that you are at your house. Being safe. Being safe. Washing your hands. Not doing this. Let's right. go take a nap. I have no idea. What is yes, that? Yes, we do. You know this.